we're in EnviroCon, we do environmental restoration work and remediation work all over the country and in Canada as well. We took this on because it's a you know we like doing restoration work and challenging work like this, and it's uh, it's good to see something that will last a long time and help protect these islands that have been eroded. The lake was drawn down to uh, allow us to access the areas that need to be restored. And obviously that drawdown's not going to last through the spring and summer, so we started uh, bridge construction in mid-October. The bridge was pretty straightforward. It's a, it's a modular, manufactured, pre-engineered bridge that you just basically add sections. The road across here is, is similar to roads we've built in the past over soft areas and that's working pretty well. The rock fill across the second crossing, that was a bit more of a challenge. The area ended up being wider and deeper than we expected it to be, so we ended up using more material. All the rock for the protection features and the roads have been imported from off-site. There's a pit over by Lightning Creek that they're actively removing rock from. We hauled in thus far 30 plus thousand tons of just pit run rock to build roads. And then the uh, protection rock, 40,000 plus tons of 18 to 20 inch rock. So off of the main road we have secondary roads and those are either again rock roads uh, in areas where we need them and we've also used these plastic mats that are designed to support heavy loads on soft material. It's nice to be part of building something that's gonna protect future habitat. It's a challenge, you know, every day seems like a new challenge out here with the weather. I've never seen so many birds in one area in my, in my life. It's a beautiful area. I can see why it's so popular. The hard part for a lot of people is losing access to their recreation area or their hunting area for this winter, but I think in the long term, it'll pay dividends. So I guess, you know, the main thing is maybe just for f folks to be patient and, uh, you know, it'll be a, a better, better place in the long term.